Despite advances in resuscitation methods, cardiac arrest is associated with high mortality and burden of post-anoxic brain injury. Post-resuscitation care includes maintaining the patient in mild hypothermia to minimize hypoxic ischemic brain damage after cardiac arrest. Patients are routinely sedated during this procedure. The authors of this study used a mouse model to test the effects of sedation on survival and neurological outcomes after cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest in adult mice was induced by administration of potassium chloride. When spontaneous circulation returned after resuscitation, the body temperature of the mice was lowered to 33 degrees Celsius. The mice were either not sedated or sedated with propofol or dexmedetomidin. Sedation started either immediately or at 60 minutes after the return of spontaneous circulation. Compared with no sedation, sedation with propofol or dexmedetomidin starting immediately after resuscitation significantly improved survival and neurological function in mice after cardiac arrest. These effects were accompanied by attenuation of the cerebral hyperemic response and accelerated recovery of the slow-wave brain electrical activity during and early after sedation. There were no beneficial effects if sedation was initiated with a 60-minute delay. In addition, early electrophysiological function after cardiac arrest can predict the neurological function score at a later time. Early administration of sedation improves survival and neurological outcomes in mice resuscitated from cardiac arrest and treated with hypothermia. These results provide a basis for future studies on the effects of sedation on neurological recovery in cardiac arrest patients.